So it is currently 7.20. It is Friday and I'm gonna be filming my Manifestation Wednesday video vlog style. So today's video is going to be the five Zen habits to establish throughout your routine. When you do these five habits daily, it will increase your productivity throughout your day. You'll create a schedule that will keep you calm and it is going to transform your life, trust me. These are going to be five very, very powerful habits to establish whether that's through your morning routine or evening routine, whatever the case, incorporating these five things throughout your day will create a relaxed but also productive part of your day. Something I actually learned in college were MITs, which are most important tasks. In the morning, I like to go ahead and jot down my three MITs, my three most important tasks of the day. These are going to be the most critical tasks that will create the most significant results. So this is gonna be separate from your to-do list. These are gonna be three things that once done, it will just create more space throughout your day. So what I'm gonna do is create my list of three MITs and kind of just post-it note them on my desk. My goal usually is to get these tasks knocked out before 10 o'clock a.m it gives me the rest of the day to kind of handle whatever comes next. I'm going to create my list of three MITs on my post-it note. So the first one that I'm going to be writing down, I have to return something that I got on Amazon. So that one's gonna be crucial just because I have to return that. Otherwise I'm not gonna get my money back. And it's one of those ones that you have to like go to the drop off box for. So it shouldn't be too hard, but it's definitely important. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Amazon return on my list. The next MIT that I have is I have a class to teach this morning, so I'm going to write teach. And then last but not least, I am going to be filming this video. Now this one won't be done before 10 a.m. obviously because I'm gonna be filming throughout my day, um, but just even getting up this morning and starting to film already makes me feel like I'm in the process of it, so it will be crossed off pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and write film. These are the three MITs, Amazon return, teach and film. Now I'm going to put that on my desk. You used to live two doors down from me. You let me in when I lost my key. When it was getting late, I didn't walk away. Oh, looking back, we were so naive. And we were in love, I swear we were. We were like fireworks left to burn. It's easy to we're better off as friends So don't take us back to how we were We always do what we do Don't let me stay another night with you We said we were through Don't let me stay another night No, stay another night with you Stay another night Turn. I went ahead and taught my class. I did my Amazon return, all of that. And that's kind of what I mean by my MITs. Once you go ahead and just knock those out, especially at the beginning of the day, it's currently 9 35 and the fact that I had already knocked out my top priorities and it's only 9 30 gives me time to not only just go throughout my day with my to-do list but able to tackle and handle them better because my mind isn't worried about I have to get this certain task done knock them out it just kind of helps you go throughout your day in a more relaxed calm state therefore when things do pop up you can handle them more appropriately so the first Zen habit was priorities and the second one is going to be perspective so I like to establish this in the beginning of the day and it's something that I recently came across that I feel like will change my 
view on life in a really really positive way discomfort is kind of a sign that you are growing so instead of fearing the feelings of discomfort you're gonna look at it in a different way you're gonna look at discomfort as growth for example when you're working out and you're in pain and your muscles hurt and you can't breathe and all of that that's obviously signs that you're growing you're gaining strength you're gaining endurance you're gaining muscle and that can be kind of shown through different life scenarios as well for example if you're waiting in a grocery store line and it's so long and you're getting angry and you have somewhere to be and you're feeling those feelings of discomfort but those feelings of discomfort are giving you the growth opportunity to learn patience whenever you're feeling any feelings of discomfort there is some underlying opportunity for growth and looking at it that way instead of getting angry when you feel discomfort or you're not feeling the best to look at it as a growth experiment and see it as what can I learn from this like what is this discomfort going to bring me and when you change your perspective it will definitely help you overcome certain obstacles throughout your day and help you be happier and just kind of focus in on the growth rather than discomfort and I sit there and kind of analyze and think about shifting perspective and focusing on my perspective of life it helps me feel more calm and relaxed throughout the day because I am able to handle the tasks at hand and the opportunities that come my way without fearing the feelings of discomfort and without kind of over analyzing the feeling in a negative way so once I'm done with the first two habits priorities and perspective I move on to my reflection the third Zen habit of the day so self-reflection is really really important I think because not only do you gain Gain emotional intelligence but you're able to kind of sit and harness on your values your goals your issues it's a super super therapeutic part of my day and you can do reflection through like a multitude of different exercises whether that's you know meditation journaling creating a gratitude journal so I really like to practice my reflection through gratitude I usually do that just kind of internally throughout my day so when I sit here and actually do a reflection exercise I like to journal or meditate so meditation is really great because you get in tune with your breath you're able to gain control over your thoughts you can kind of see where you are mentally and gain perspective and awareness of how you can overcome certain thoughts how you can control your thoughts not let them affect you and create stillness within those thoughts and then also through journaling I like to just journal out to certain prompts I've mentioned them so many times but I've been loving my silk and sonder planner because they have so many different journaling prompts and Kind of just like exercises to do so one that i think i'm going to do today is the currently section so this one's really great because you just say what you're currently loving feeling enjoying anticipating wishing reading watching and planning so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this out eat some breakfast and just kind of reflect on my day and then i'm gonna end that with some meditation with priorities, perspective, and reflection. The fourth Zen habit that I like to do in my daily routine is physical. So anything to get your body moving, that could be working out, that could be taking a walk, whatever the case is, I really like running and I like to practice yoga and I also like strength training. I like to switch it up a little bit because I tend to get bored when I keep doing the same things over and over. But today I'm feeling a little bit inspired to practice some yoga. So yoga is all about 
breath and balance. You are able to move with your breath and then also the balance perspective. Every time you do something to one part of your body, you have to balance it out and do it to the other. So it's really cool like when you work out and stretch one part of your body and then you can really feel the difference between the stretched part of your body and the unstretched part of your body. For example, if I do something on my right side, my right side is very limber, feels more flexible, released. I feel like I released stress on that side and then I can feel the difference between the tension of the unstretched left side of my body. So I really like that balanced perspective of yoga. I read a quote the other day that was talking about how yoga is the connection between the mind and the body, which I really, really like. And that kind of plays into part with the breath aspect of yoga. So I like to stretch with my breath. So when I breathe in, I will go into a pose. And when I breathe out, I will go out of the pose. That's kind of how I practice yoga. It's more of like a meditation practice for me, but it really gets your body moving and it's a really great way to connect to your body and understand the feelings and all that fun stuff. That's what I'm gonna do today. Um, like I said, I do different exercises or movements of the body at different parts of my week. So sometimes I'll run, sometimes I'll you know, go to the gym and work out, sometimes I'll just go for a simple walk. But getting your body moving, get your organs flowing, and it's just a really great habit to have in your daily routine. Because a lot of the times we sit on our desk all day, we don't move, and it's easy to go throughout your day without even just moving your body, which is crazy to think about. So creating a habit to move your body is something that I think is super super important. So a playlist that I like to put on is the reading soundtrack on Spotify. It is so good. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But they're just songs from really really inspiring movies like Interstellar, Hans Zimmerman has a lot of songs on here, um, Lord of the Rings, Hunger Games, like really, really deep movies that the music is just so inspiring. I like to put that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. It's just so deep and you can flow to it really well. yoga. I feel so much better. I'm probably going to keep my workout clothes on because I do want to go for a run later today, um, but I did knock out something physical already, so that is good. So after physical comes concentration. Your mind is at its peak right after you do your exercise. So because your mind is at its peak after your workout, you can put all of that mental performance into something. You can do anything from learning, studying, or creating. For me, work is creating, and it does help me focus, and it gets me concentrated and zoned in, and I get in a sort of flow state. So I like to either edit a video, plan a video, or film a video. And because I'm already filming, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video. Um, but other things that you can do that I personally like to do is, you know, reading, doing a work task, creating something, whether that's art or some sort of creative 
outlet for yourself. Even planning, like your business planning or planning for, you know, meals. You can study, you could do your homework, you can learn something new, master a skill, whatever it is, get your concentration zoned in. When you use this concentration, use this flow state, and use this mental performance after a workout, you will get accelerated learning, increased productivity, and you'll knock things out quicker. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this more vlog style Manifestation Wednesday videos, let me know in the comments. Or do you guys like the more cut and dry, just me sitting down and telling you the tips? I just thought this one would be fun because I can show you guys how I use the tips and tricks. Not only just preaching them, but how I kind of incorporate them into my daily routine. And you can use any of these five tips, you know, throughout your daily routine. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening, whatever works for you. But I really think that these five tips are something that everyone can benefit from if you just tackle them once a day. Kind of just a recap, you have priorities, perspective, reflection, physical, and concentration. When you have all five of those, you will have a really productive day but also not an overwhelming day. You will be able to create zen within your schedule. You will lower your stress, lower your anxiety, and you can knock things out throughout the day without getting so overwhelmed and worked up from them. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys all in a future video. Bye, guys.